Hi, I'm Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a super trendy, aesthetic, neutral mama sweatshirt. And I'm gonna show you how to embroider names on the sleeve of a sweatshirt. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for this super trendy sweatshirt, we are gonna use like this creamy off-white sweatshirt. I think this would look great on like a natural tan sweatshirt. Um, or like a dark mauvey pink. So to hoop the mama um, big applique part where we're just leaving it blank without any fabric that's super trendy right now. And honestly, it saves a lot of time, so I'm not mad at the trend. We're gonna use this eight by 13 mighty hoop. It works perfect for big lettering on sweatshirts. This is one of my favorite hoops for that. I'm gonna use some no-show poly mesh. We'll be marking our center point with these Target placement stickers. I love these. For the sleeve and border, I'm gonna use this little fast frame. It's already got some sticky stabilizer. And what we'll do, we'll put this on the sleeve and embroider this way. Um, so we'll have to do some rotating but I love this little contraption for sleeve embroidery. So you could put names, you could put like a wedding date, um, you could put all kinds of things, but I think it's perfect for this mama sweatshirt to put the kids' names with a little heart. Okay, and we're also gonna use some water solvy topper to just make our stitches nice and crisp. So let's go ahead and prep our sweatshirt, find our exact placement. I think I'm gonna go about four fingers down from that collar, um, just to make sure it's nice and not too high, but not too low. And we're gonna put the mama here. Um, I will link everything I use today, including the designs, the fonts I use, in the description box below so you'll know exactly where I got things from. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our sweatshirt in half and use our Cricut Mini Press and just create a center line. Then we're gonna go four fingers down to mark the top of our design. And then we are going to um, mark the center of our design by dividing um, the height of our design divided by two and I just go down from that top mark to find our center point Next I'm going to add my stabilizer to the back I'm just using some 505 spray to adhere this poly mesh next We take the mighty hoop we put it right inside down and we're just wiggling it in um, Finding the center using those notches for perfect placement. I even measure sometimes all right, now that we have it hooped, um, that's going to be the top of our design. That's going to be our center of our design. We're going to go ahead and place it on the embroidery machine. I'm using the Melco EMT 16X embroidery machine today for this part. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this doesn't get caught. Place it onto the machine. It looks like it's gonna be about a 20 minute stitch out. It's a very, very like satin stitch um, design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna center and then I'm gonna use my laser and find exactly that crosshair that I want that middle and then I'm gonna trace it out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off those placement stickers and place some water soluble topper on top. I'm probably gonna put some pins on it in spots that won't be hit by the um, needle. So just be mindful of that. If you add pins, make sure you trace and make sure it's not gonna get hit. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and stitch the mama design and then we'll do our sleeve. All right, so it just finished. Let me just mention how wonderfully this design was digitized. I mean, those underlay stitches were so good. It is so thick and plush. Look how gorgeous. I love the tone on tone. What do you guys think of this trend? Um, I think it's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna do the sleeve down. So for the sleeve part, what we're gonna do is I have found it's a lot easier just to slide the sleeve onto the machine um, versus trying to like fumble with it because the tension will be there from the weight of the sweatshirt. So I'm gonna go ahead. Um, I've got some sticky on this already. 
Um, I'll link my favorite sticky below. So I'm just reusing this one. You can reuse your sticky. Um, I typically like to patch it, but like I said, it's on order. So I am just doing with what I have. So I'm gonna get you an angle of show you how I do it. Um, with the fast frame, you see how the beveled edge goes down? You see the downward slope, like a little step. If you put it in this way, with it up, it'll go like this. It will embroider, but it's gonna go like this. So you want that to be nice and tight so it just embroiders versus this, and then I'll have room. That makes sense? Okay. We've got our fast frame attachment on, and we're gonna place this in. Click on those little jut out, tighten, and there we have it. So I already have the design loaded. I put the kid's name and oldest to youngest and then a little heart um, at the bottom. So I like to go off this shoulder seam. So I'm just gonna try it on to make sure, but there's always a seam if you fold the arm in half. Yeah, I'm gonna go off this crease right here and I'm gonna go on the right. Let's see how it looks. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous. I love it. I was wondering if it was too big, but I think it's actually big enough. It could have been, even been smaller. Okay, let's go ahead and do the sleeve again. We are gonna, so there's the bottom. Like, here's the bottom under the armpit. I mean, it's personal preference. So I like to look at that seam and go directly whatever the fold is above. And that way you can get placement every time correctly. Um, whether you're doing a bunch of these, you'll know exactly where to go. Just crease it and that's your standard place to go. So I think it's super cute and then it'll kind of show on the edge of their sleeve. Okay, so you do what works best for you and what your customers like, but that's just my kind of go-to. That way I can get perfect placement every time. All right, let's get it on the machine. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on the right sleeve. So again, I have that crease. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this pup puppy up here. And look at that, you already get like the wrinkles smoothed away. It's just a lot easier that way. And I'm gonna use these clips. These are um, from Amazon and Hobby Lobby. I usually use these big Hobby Lobby ones, but I'm thinking I might like these little tiny ones from Amazon. These are your best friend when you're embroidering with fast frames. So there is, you wanna get over this. And I just like to make sure that's in the center and there's a notch right here in your fast frame. You can kind of feel and then go from there. So you're gonna have a lot of movement. It's gonna be, I, I picked something that's almost two inches, almost as wide as my fast frame. Cause, so we have to be careful with the clips on the sides because they will just pop right off. So we're gonna go ahead and um, put a few on here but just know you might have to adjust as it embroiders. Okay, so that looks about right. Okay, so I put my sleeve on upside down. So what do I have to do? I have to rotate it. Most things I do with my fast frame, I rotate 180 degrees. Okay, close. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find where it's gonna embroider. So I'm gonna trace, let's see. Yep, see how that did that with the, the little puppy? We're actually good. We're not bad on our tension. Um, it's not gonna like, sometimes if you're trying to embroider something and there's not enough room, it just won't go. So we are perfect there. I'm gonna do it one more time just to see where my placement is. Okay, so I have the bottom of my design on the sleeve about an inch up from the cuff of the sleeve. Just because I have um, three names, depending on how many names you have, you can adjust your settings. Find what you like personally. Um, I think it's just preference. I've seen them way up high, almost towards mid, um, but I like them a little closer to the cuff. That way it's super cute and then it shows a lot more. So again, about an inch from that edge of that cuff and um, is the bottom of the design. So let's go ahead and stitch it out. I'm gonna get real close up for you so you can kind of see how this works. Um, I'm using a floss 
font, so I am going to add some water soluble topper just to make it nice and crisp. All right, let's go ahead and add this and get to stitching. When it went to go do this one, the clip kind of so you just have to adjust your clips on what's sewing. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you trace and you don't hit your frame. You will really mess up your machine if you hit the frame. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, it just finished. It is so cute. It's literally a hand stitch font to make it look like it was like hand done. So if you don't like this type of font, you could obviously do a more cursive or a block letter um, to be more legible, but I love the vintage look of it. So the font I chose was half inch. Um, so the design ended up being about two inches wide. That's as big as you'd want to go on that fast frame. So make sure you find a perfect font that stitches small. Not all fonts can be shrunk down and look great. So find your go-to small font. Okay, let's go ahead and take it off. The little heart from Etsy stitched so good. Oh my gosh. Look how gorgeous. I love it. It looks like I did it by hand. For whatever reason, my thread was having a problem with the A, but like it stitched so well. I'm very excited. I hope this inspires you. You could do Roman numerals. You could do like a bride, right bride on there with the wedding date. Um, there's so many options you can do besides just kids' names. Let me know if you have a better trick than a fast frame. I think this is a great technique to do sleeves. Let me know your tricks and tips as well um, in the comments below. Let's go ahead and take this off and get the final look. Okay, so there it is. I am just going to take it off the frame. Ooh, let me take my pin out. So just gently remove that sticky stabilizer. It will come off in the wash most of it, but try to get most of it off. All right, so now the front, let's do our water soluble trick. I should do in my last video. Okay, so we have our sleeve right here. We're gonna rip off as much as we can. These floss, like hand stitched fonts are super hard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip off the outside as much as we can. Now we're gonna take our leftover, we're gonna take our water and spritz, spritz, spritz. Look at that. It takes it off every time. It still amazes me that that works every time. You would be picking this out for days. So try that trick. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So here we have our final project. Look at this, how cute. It's a play on the you wear your heart on your sleeve and it's your kids' names. I think it's so gorgeous. I love the placement of um, this because when you're wearing it, it like goes to the front. Um, so what do you think? I think it's gorgeous. I love the aesthetic neutral even though i love pink i do love this understated like classy look with the tone on tone let me know your thoughts below have you tried stitching a sleeve yet let me know your tips and tricks in the comments below and as always i will link everything i use today in the description box below thank you so much for joining me today and until next time bye for now